Flatty. The only flat thing too. that is modified is that dual exhaust. No. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Junkyard Digs and welcome to an old shed in the middle of Iowa. Oh yeah, I think we all know where this is going. This is Greg. Hey Kevin. And Don. Yes. And as you just saw, Don's got a 40 Ford here, but that's not what we're here for today. What we're here for is buried back there in the middle. That's my high school hot rod. This one is? Yep. 1957, I built that up. It's a Chevy. I had a Ford flat in it for years. <laughs> is it Chevy motor in it now? Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. It'll start right up, too. I, I bet it would. <laughs> you got some old stuff in here. That's a piece of everything that I had on the barn wall. <laughs> You're stuck together. <laughs> That is awesome. There's a lot of stuff to look at, but what we're here for today is this right here. A Datsun 280Z 5-speed that's been sitting, as you can see, for a very long time. And right behind it, a little bonus that we got for 500 bucks. A Datsun, what, what the hell is this one? 200. A Datsun 200. S SX, I think. <laughs> SX. I don't know a thing about these. I know a little bit about those from the 260 I've got sitting in a shed somewhere. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, 70, 79, sweet. They're both completely covered in barn dust and make for some great revival content. Step one, get them pulled out of here. Well, let's start with the 280 while we still got some light. As you can see, she does have a little bit of rot in there here in the rear quarter. Plenty of barn dust here. It'll be interesting to see what else it's concealing. A little bit up here, but I get this to cooperate. There we go. Aha, look at that. 2.8 liter fuel injected in line six. If we go down in here, this is the important part. You can see that the walls of the inner fender here are nice and solid, which means structurally, at least up here, as far as I'm willing to crawl under, <laughs> this thing looks to be at least decent enough to drive around. Can't beat the price on it, so let's go ahead and get this sucker drug out of here. Oh god! Yeah, it's stuck pretty bad. Those are some stuck wheels. Okay, plan B. Are you coming? going to be fun to deal with. I don't think I'll be making this video this week. <laughs> they just fold in that rubber like a drag car. <laughs> Look at that. that one's outside and way rustier than I had anticipated. Let's see how bad this one is. It's got a cool racing stripe on it. CB whip. Oh, that tire is not holding any air. Took a bit of damage to the rear there. Oh, it's a 78. Look at that. That makes this convenient. Oh, it's also a manual. 
Oh, it's got a CB. Oh, this is a way cooler interior. Electric mirrors. It stinks. It's got cruise control, a clock. Look at these seats. Never mind the other one. This might be the car to have. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some Mr. Bean seats right there. <laughs> this one's a lot better. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> Easy fix, right? I knew it was going too well. No, we'll see what happens. But Fire the old yeah. 29 up. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You're, you're a pretty cool old guy. <laughs> 50, 57 Chevy. I'm glad I got to meet just, you today. Just a 283, that's all. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, well, uh, the poop one's on the trailer. Potentially better ones right in the shed. I'm going to strap this down and head north. We'll be back for the other one. All right, you rusty turd. Come along. We're going to Kevin's ramshackled car palace. First stop, though. Eh, I'm thinking car wash. <laughs> You know what? It looks good on camera, so that's that's really all that matters, right? But yeah, it's it's not actually good. And some of it does wipe off, but the rest of it doesn't. I think these cars actually ship rusty. Ooh, I hope I got a key. Ooh, do I have keys? Period for this one. I do, okay. The interior is not bad, it doesn't even stink that bad. But maybe that's just because I did the whole Gremlin revival drive home this morning. Oh, check this out. We get three Missouri license plates, they even match. Also, side note, what the hell does that mean? You know what, I should probably know better than to ask. As you can see, we've got some filler coming out of the trunk here. This is all gone, this is gone. Quarters are gone, doors gone. Fender's gone, fender's gone. <laughs> oh boy. Let's get this one home, deal with it another day. All right, it is the next, next morning. As you can see, I've got the 200SX all uh, loaded up there. Me and the other guys are poking around the sheds. They had a couple really cool cars. Here's a shot of that now. So I pulled the motor on this, Don overhauled it. That is neat. It's got Soto parts in it. I mean, it's just weird. It's a conglomeration of all sorts of things. These are all silver notes. Okay. 29 was supposed to be sold. A little, a little coolant tray for the seal. That's crazy. All wood. That runs really good. I gotta, we'll be in the Memorial Day parade. I gotta get a shot of this roof. Look at that. And while we were in there, I found this. This is a pile of old boat brochures, and in here is a brochure for 74th century. 
we got a couple more things to look at, but then we're going to strap this down and head on home. Well, we're all loaded up. We've got the 200SX, a four-cylinder, 50-horse, two-stroke Mercury uh, outboard, and a little Suzuki outboard. All this was 100 bucks with the magazines there, so yeah, this, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that, but we have it. All right, once again, give it a bath. Let's see if this one's better than the other one. Someday in the future, we'll be back to work on it. See you then. Ah, yes. The Datsuns. You can already tell I'm going to need one of these before working on these damn things. Heeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger. Okay, so. <laughs> back to the Datsuns. It is currently... Wednesday afternoon due to scheduling conflicts, power tour, blah, blah, blah. I need a video out by Friday, so <laughs> let's see if we can make this happen. I think we're going to continue with the 280 here. This one has a severely stuck tire, but it is fuel injected, which means hopefully I order a pump from O'Reilly's, crawl underneath the car, change it because it's external. Learned that after I sold the last one without fixing it. And then, yeah, let's see if it runs. The 200 here. I have no idea. In fact, I would not be surprised if that was still carbureted. This was their top of the line car. This was their bottom of the line car. As you can see, we have a 280, 2.8 liter, if you didn't know. Dotson's 240, 260, 280. The numbers were designated off of the displacement. They were 2.4, 2.6, and 2.8 liter engines. This one in particular is the L28. It makes 170 horse at 5,600 RPMs. They were Pretty stout cars back in the day. This is 1978. We've got 170 horse and a five speed in a beer can of a car. And that made them pretty damn awesome. However, unfortunately in today's day and age, that means they're all rusted to hell because, well, they're beer cans. Let's go ahead and drop this battery in here, get it hooked up and see what comes to life. I doubt a fuel pump is the answer, but man, that would be cool. All right, there we go. Let us go ahead and obviously you know clutch fan can't tell if this motor is even seized or not we'll still get to that but let's get this radiator open oh <laughs> put radiator cap on the list uh, it still held pressure <laughs> even with the spring off and there's liquid in it this this thing's good to go there he is oh looks pretty fresh all right back in you go Let's hit the button, see what happens. Doors open nice. Seats are really nice. The interior in this car is actually in really good shape. Like, it doesn't even stink. It just kind of smells like leather. Oh yeah, everything happens. You got a brake light. Hmm, that might be 31,000, I don't know. Some relay somewhere is pissed. Holy shit, the master still moves. Oh, the clutch is junked. Damn it. Okay, they're on this video. Whoa, was that? Oh, goodbye forever, antenna. 
Ooh. The little light doesn't, oh, it does work. Does it? Yes. All right, all right, this car's winning me over. Damn, the defrost button and light and everything works. Oh, yes. All right, time for the big one. Holy shit. She cranks real nice. I did not hear a fuel pump. But she cranks really clean. Holy oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Make it stop. Holy shit. It works, it's hot. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? The rusty Datsun winning me over. The fact that it's rusty means I don't have to care about it a lot, and it might be really fun to drive. Wait, hang on. Damn it. It's junk, throw it away, change my mind. All right, there's something flammable. Pull that back off, see what happens. Oh, hell yes, it sounded healthy. Okay, so I've called O'Reilly's, ordered a pump. It'll be here tomorrow at 10 a.m. Let's switch gears and see if the 200, which is carbureted, will run. Which we know it will. It's, it's carbureted. I mean, give me 15 minutes, that car will be idling. One promising sign I did just see, that car had no battery. It was harvested. This one still did. In fact, the battery still had the positive post on. They had just taken the negative off as if they were going to let it sit for a winter. It's 110 horsepower, 5600 RPM, 2000 cc, four cylinder. Uh, the L2OB, which if I had to guess, that's four of those cylinders. <laughs> they just lopped the front end of the block off and called her good. Let's get our air cleaner off here. That's a carburetor and it looks really clean. Let's go like this. Whoa, big light. <laughs> A CB that works. Aftermarket cruise control chilling down here. A clock. A mystery switch. Electric aftermarket mirrors. Oh, that one does. Oh, good. <laughs> Common theme this week. Let's see what we got in the CB. I turned the anal switch off. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she might need a little work, especially since someone broke that switch off in 1982. Oh, oh boy, I I wouldn't imagine it's been sitting since then, but hard to say. Ames Dotson. Oh, this came from around here. 1982. Okay, so this has sat for a while, according to those. What are you? You look like a big piece of paper. Bill's biorhythm. What does this, 1982, was Bill dying? It's got a bunch of letters. Oh, someone let me know, what the hell is that thing? It's not car related, I'll tell you that. Oh, hell yes. Dude. Oh, just realized the headliner hangs down in this one. Like, like really bad. <laughs> but the Mr. Bean seats look awesome. Let's go get a little more amperage in this thing, see what it does. All right, I threw the booster pack on. Threw a little more brake clean down there, even filled the bowl a little bit. She just ain't loving it, huh? Okay, well at this point, it's either cables or the starter. Air conditioning. Who's hot? Are you hot? Ew, Jesus Christ, that's hot. Okay, I found it. It's that connection on top of the solenoid. <laughs> he needs taken off and cleaned. Ow, it burnt me. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I won't move shit for continuity either if I was that rusty. Let's get all this hardware cleaned up, get that post cleaned up, see if that fixes it. All right, she's all cleaned up, back together. 
<laughs> Holy shit. A little more fuel down in there. Yeah, fill the bowl. So the throttle blade is seized on this carb, which I'm sure by now I've flooded it. Ooh, maybe I can get this choke to open. I can. Let's see what that does. Oh, no, it worked for a split second. Come on. Damn you, horn. I bumped it and that's all we got. <laughs> It might actually be ready for a little more. Come on, you little girl. It hated something. <laughs> look at the, not smoke, but look at the rust that came out. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, well that was nothing short of a nightmare, but let me introduce you to the carburetor and all of its vacuum leaks that I've now exposed. Does the throttle move? Does not appear so. All right, I need both hands. I'm gonna get a flashlight and a pliers and see if I can get him working. All right, it took a bit of playing. I can now ugh, just get the throttle to, I get to come open pretty well, but you know, going closed is a different story. Eh, actually, it does slowly go closed on its own, so I'm hoping. Oh, oh shit, we're getting there actually. Look at that. Oh, it just went. The throttle works. Hell yes. Okay, let's see if we can get her to light off now. I had to get a lot of brake clean in there to get that sucker freed up, so I'm sure she's flooded. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, wide open cleared it out a little. Come on, girl. Okay, I'm gonna say she's out of fuel now. Whatever's coming up from the tank specifically that is probably not flammable <laughs> come on girl oh come on you can do it Yes! I'm lying if I said I loved it, but it ran. <laughs> I'm rushing to get something going here tonight, but I'm sure tomorrow. Off what I got in the bowl it's not I don't think it's pumping fuel up but it actually responded to throttle and built oil pressure that time all right let's get some fuel in this thing in the morning and try her again I bet this sucker runs unfortunately absolutely no clutch because I completely forgot Dotson's are hydraulic and that's never gonna last all right see you in the morning 
Good morning, everyone. We're back. Still waiting on the fuel pump to come in this morning for that. I've got some gas and I got the trunk open, which means I believe right behind this thing is a fuel tank. Now, I know on those, at least the one I had, they have a fuel drain, which is pretty damn nifty. No idea if these do. Let's find out. An epic sock thing. I don't know what that is. <laughs> some jumper cables and holy shit. <laughs> The fanciest cleats you've ever seen from the Pilgrims. Well, I also found some sick dots and floor mats that may or may not fit this car. They're all in the trunk, I don't know. But there's our tank. It looks incredible. Honestly, all the metal in this car looks incredible. It also looks to be completely empty. So let's get some gas in that and see what comes out of it. Alrighty. Got a couple gallons in there. I'm gonna top this off again. Flush some more shit out. And now, with the speed of a thousand thousands, I will fire this and then run around and keep it running. Oh no! <laughs> the water pump does not turn. <laughs> huh. Well, I can get the big pliers and play with that, but that kind of brings this one to an immediate halt. Also, it's still not bringing any fuel up front. Running that long, it should have fed the bowl and started running on its own, but it's not. Since the belt only goes one way, it's probably not going to have the best chance of breaking that free. I wonder if I can get these in there and turn it both directions and kind of get that rust in the out of the impellers or whatever the hell it might be get it to free up work with me <laughs> that snap noise is it breaking free and it's 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 not free enough to spin yet but we're getting there <laughs> it's working oh god that thing feels horrible what would even cause that much binding hear the rust it just broke free okay um water pump spins <laughs> away with ye suddenly now let's play with that a little bit see if we can rev it up plug it it's got a nice even face here that we can plug off and see if that pulls some shit out of the jet to get that carburetor working it did rev for a bit and then it like ran out of fuel Also, I think the uh, water pump stopped making noise. It must have chewed up its, its little bits and pieces. This has been impressive. Everything's been seized and everything's kind of been able to be forced back into the land of the living and the rotating. <laughs> yes, no fuel pumpy. All right, let's see if we can rig something up. 
All right, been a couple minutes. I've got a fuel system rigged up to the pump. I took the suction side hose off the pump and heard a <laughs> when I took it off. So there's something clogged back there in the lines. I'm not gonna worry about the tank. Inside the tank's probably rusty in all reality, but got a new hose on over here. Let's go ahead and see what this sucker does. I think. Uh, no way, no this motor ever. There's the damn throttle. Oh god, <laughs> it took forever to die. <laughs> PSI of oil. Still no damn horn though. Got lights. Ooh, look at that. The headlights, the markers work. Even the red taillights work. It's not a four-cylinder camera. Right? Oh, God. Tough way potentially seen better days, but there it is. Hell yes. this far but it is running for the first time shutting it off with the key still got an hour or so to the pumps here for that so let's look into bleeding this mass uh oh I figured for sure the uh, slave cylinder would be dry but no it's not so that's probably not gonna work all right well I'm gonna do a little plan see what I can figure out here okay so a little tinkering has shown me exactly what I expected. The brakes and clutch in this thing are junk. There's not going to be any fix on those. What we can do is get some inflated tires on the back, hopefully throw it in gear, turn the key, see if it's got the power, and hopefully no neutral safety switch, to fire up and drive around. Let's steal some tires off the 280, put them on here, and see if we can make that happen. And then go work in the 280 because the fuel pump and Jesse are finally here. Jug of gas, battery carburetor we really didn't do anything to tires let's see what it does the little starter that could let's see if it can
Alice. Hell yeah. That thing's kind of fun. Well, there you have it. I suppose that is the 200SX running and driving. Let's take the wheels off, put them back on the car they belong on, get a fuel pump in that one, and see if we can get two in one video. What do you think, cat who just walked between my legs? Wheelbarrow. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes. We got lunch, got some hose, and got smart. We have our one gallon vinegar jug fuel tank, patent pending on that guy. Some hose into the inline pump that O'Reilly sent us, which is wildly wrong for this car but i went underneath and looked at everything anyway and it all looks junk so this is going to be the easy way to do it regardless moral of the story uh riley sells high pressure inline fuel pumps we've got some hose hooked up to the feed side and of course the hose shoved back into the handle for the return which do note currently unhooked let's go ahead and hit this with some power and flush all the gunk out of that uh, fuel system oh um, <laughs> I don't think <laughs> every single fitting started leaking. Get the screwdriver out, Jesse. We got a few more hoses to replace. Well, that could have went better, not gonna lie. Pieces went everywhere. All right, well, let's get these all cleaned up a little bit and get some new hoses and shit on them and try it again. All right, there it is. All new rubber. It only took like an hour, right? About. Yeah, let's get it reinstalled. That'll take another hour. I'll tell you what, that's one of those tasks that looks a lot easier than it actually was. There wasn't much to it. I mean, it was simply to replace the lines, but man, that sucks. All right, well, let's get the last couple connections on here. Hook our wiring harness back up. See if it holds pressure this time. Probably not. Hey, the return works. I don't see any leaks, do you? No. Hmm. It could be that I unplugged that one wire and that ran to something important. There's always that chance. Let's try the obvious answer. We unplugged this jumper, right? To run this, and we figured this was fuel pump, but it's probably ECU. I bet she fires now. Go give her a crank. Dude, dude, it runs good. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. For once, fuel injection actually works. Oh, it is idling at 1500 RPM. Oh, I can hear the vacuum leaks from here. I can't believe that ran that good though on like the first try. Just started right up. All it needed was a fuel pump and new rubber. It makes a bit, it does make a bit of noise. Does it get good oil pressure or just the it presence? in the middle. All right, let me wire this up. We're back in a bit. All right, while we still got her up in the air, we're gonna add some fluid to the clutch <laughs> reservoir and see if we can get the bleed. What's There's up? no brake fluid in that one. Well, yeah. That's sat since 93. I'm just making you aware. I wanna bring the camera over here. Are, are we wasting yes. our time? Yes. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> what? That's just clutch dust. Everyone knows that. I oh. hate small cars. Hey, Jesse, how are you? How do you think? Yeah, it looks like you're having a pretty good time to me. What he's actually doing is taking this bolt off the back of the pedal, because we went to town and got ourselves a new clutch master and a new slave. I already got the slave on. Besides that, we threw some fluid in these. I cracked these bleeders open, got three good squirts out of each, closed them, and we have brakes. <laughs> as far as we can tell, the pedal feels great. That tire is still super stuck. We got to deal with that, but let's get this clutch on, bled up. This thing might be a running, driving, stopping car by the end of the night, and that would be badass. There we go. Oh, look at that. More dust. Wow. That thing, oh, that thing was junk. Insert new one. <laughs> Very nice. 
All right, you should probably, I suppose, go underneath and aim. I just heard move get attacked by a garden hose. It's pretty difficult. Uh, you should probably go to guide this into position so it doesn't wind up somewhere crazy. Okay. You okay over there? Yeah. Uh, kind of, it sounded like you got attacked by a garden hose. No. She definitely got attacked by a garden hose. Get in there. Here, do you need me to push? Come on. No. Come no. on. <laughs> Back out. Yeah, I'll shut the door. Give me some privacy. Alright, where's the pit? What am I doing? Say ah. Ah. Dude, there's literally no space in here. Ah, you'll be fine. How's your second time putting that pin in now? It's great! So we put that in, had it fully installed, then realized that the ah. rod. <laughs> the rod that the O'Reilly's part came with was a half inch too short, so we had to take it all the way back out and switch the old rod in. So they looked like they were similar sitting next to each other, but if you took the actual clip off of right here and took it down to this point and then compared the rods, one was way longer. So do that before you put it in if you're ever working on one of these. So you don't have to be like Jesse and do it twice. Which is really my mistake, but his problem, you know. I lost the washer. Looking good, Jesse. Gonna be no time at all before we bleed everything, press the pedal, and realize the friction plate is welded to the flywheel. And if it's not, we're gonna burn out the clutch trying to undo that stuck tire. Probably. Oh, I forgot about that. God dang it. Down. Holy shit, it works. Ooh, it feels like a clutch. Up. Oh. Nice, dude. We done did it. Oh, yeah. Alright, one last thing that damn wheel. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm not asking anymore, 300. Can't be tight if it's a powder. All right, Mr. Drum Brake. You just hurt my brother's toe and ripped his toenail off, so now he's off dying somewhere. So you and I are gonna have a little talk. Or do you? Oh, okay, well, thank you for cooperating quickly. You want taps, we just heck you anyway. I guess I should get this thing out more often. It's not perfectly free, but yeah, good enough. All right, it's the moment of truth. We have a clutch. We have baby brakes. Do you think the clutch is froze to the flywheel? Probably. Do you think I get the brake loose? Maybe. Pull this if I'm engulfed in flames. I'll film it for Good cameraman. Backwards. Oh, backwards. Oh, thank God, because you're pointing right at me. Much worse. <laughs> there was a tire oh, there. God, you even have brake lights. Dude, check that out. Would you like a ride, sir? It actually like legit runs, drives, clutch, everything. I no power steering, but I don't I don't think they had it. I think they were manual. Let's see if we can grab second, eh? Okay, I see the appeal. I see the appeal. That's pretty fun. Alright, let's see what you got. You ready for this? I don't know why it was 
goes faster going downhill. Oh, <laughs> the brakes are all over. <laughs> you gotta drive it. It took your toe. It did That's, take my toe. Yeah. Some might argue it's because of my shoes. No. And I would say Boom. they're wrong. <laughs> Squeak is. It's fun though. Here's your new daily. It's the same color. <laughs> well, shit. What do you think of that? That's kind of a nice car. Well, you want it? <laughs> no! Shit. <laughs> no, Here's... I want to get my camera. Here's a set of a spot. I don't know if you can see it, but... Okay, great. Well... You no, know, it's probably more solid than my current car. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with this, honestly. If someone wants it, shoot me an email, junkyarddigs1 at gmail.com. Jesse doesn't want it, which is a shame. That'd be kind of funny to watch him try to drive that thing around. Wait, we never checked if it'll do a burnout. <laughs> Is that what happened? I stood on the brakes to see if it would do a legit burnout, and it was a pop, and the brake light came on, and the car came to a halt. Oh. oh, now I have all four. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on this adventure where we pulled two old 1978 Datsuns out of a shed. Well, they've been left for this one since 93 and the 210 since 84. Not to anyone's surprise, the carbureted car came to life and drove around the yard, but surprisingly, and thanks to my brother's help, thank you, Jesse, we were able to get this 280Z running, driving, stopping once again. This thing's pretty fun. I did enjoy driving it. If anything, it's inspired me to get my good one, the 260 that's been sitting for a long time out of the shed and running once again. That manual would fit in it pretty well. Just saying. Oh, you'd have to do that clutch again. I'm not again. doing that clutch again. I was just about to say that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, check out our merch on junkyarddigs.com. It looks best when it's dirty. So with that being said, we'll see you right here next week for another episode. Stay greasy.